Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video and yarn adventure, August Fiber Hearts. Yes, today is the 11th of August here in Australia and it is National Crochet Day in the USA. Now, Dana from Dana's Wonderlust Crochet started the hashtag August Fiber Hearts and as a channel, I'm taking part. So today, I left a little surprise gift in one of our street libraries. There are six around cans. Not going to say where it is. I left a little, um, it was a rose. I had crocheted and put it on a key ring and I left it with a gardening book in the street library. The um, tutorial for the rose is my favorite. It's a bag a day tutorial. It gives you a really full headed rose. It's a beautiful flower and I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description below highly recommend you give that a go it turns out great so they my little gifts are packaged like this I also left I can't remember if it was four or five or six little gifts at different places where I've made acquaintances with people a couple of months ago I changed hairdressers to the hairdresser in my suburb there is her and two girls that work there and I dropped in three little gifts there one was a beanie, face washer and a scrubby. So hopefully they will post pictures on their social media that the gifts they got. And I have given other gifts out. Now, yes, I still have more gifts because we are heading out west next week for a bit of a holiday. And I'm going to keep leaving little surprise gifts all over the place until the end of August. It has a little um, card inside that I've made. Now, the words I got off a comment from my last video from one of my subscribers which is really nice and because I was struggling to come up with something so I sort of use some of hers and some of mine so I've got on my card I am not lost I was handmade for you if you like me please take me all I ask is you post a picture on your social media using the hashtag August Fiber Hearts tell the world where you found me and help celebrate August fiber hearts why not check out youtube and learn how to knit or crochet so that is what's on my card and these are for some that will go out west so yes 11th of august now on two video back videos back um, i think it was called the witches back i made a very subtle comment there would be a surprise on the 11th of August and you needed to comment on that video now I wasn't going to be advertising a big giveaway it was just a little something to celebrate August Fiber Hearts on the 11th of August so yes there were 46 unique comments on that video I did say leave a comment I was very subtle about it so today I took the, um, I used the YouTube random comment picker, put that video's URL in there and selected a winner. No, I didn't video it. So if you're upset that you're not seeing it, I'm sorry you don't trust me. But there will be a screenshot of the person who won it. Um, I got sidetracked and I forgot that I should be videoing it because some people think it's rigged. Anyway, the lucky person will win a $10 pattern from Etsy or up to $10 they can spend up to $10 on a pattern from an Etsy shop they can go online pick an Etsy pattern and I will pay for it there are some great Yarny sisters on um, Etsy that sell PDF patterns we've got Karen Wright in Australia on her Etsy shop she has the spring blanket sweet tear pattern her mug cozy pattern which will make great Christmas gifts Rel from the Dabbling Hook has heaps of patterns. She has a pattern on there that I would like to try, but it's chunky yarn, which I'm not great at, and it's very hard to get here in the tropics. It may be a case of buy the pattern and order the yarn from further south. Ella from No Catchy Name, she has some PDF patterns for sale. And, of course, there is Crystal from Bagger Day with her pattern shop. My fairy who won her giveaway bought four patterns or picked four patterns from Crystal's Pattern Shop and Etsy and I paid for them. Great patterns. So yes, there are lots of people on Etsy you can find a PDF pattern from up to the value of $10. So 
So, who is the lucky recipient of my August Fiber Hearts little gift? Ta da da! It is Chris Bragg, KB1901 KB. Yes, she has a channel, a small channel. She's trying to grow it. She has 270 something subscribers. I watched her the other day. She showed um, the Zeta top that she had made. And now I think about it, I didn't leave a comment, which is very remiss of me. Sorry, Chris. So Chris Bragg, I will put my email in the description below. Email me and we will arrange how you get your Etsy patterns. Congratulations. Celebrating August Fiber Hearts. Pick a pattern and make something. So that was me for August Fiber Hearts. Yes, I'm going to continue to try and focus on the good in August because the good can only get better. I've been focusing on finding the yarn for my Halloween or Halloween, however you want to pronounce it, make along with Crystal from Ricola's Crochet Corner um, for 2020. I bought the pattern on Etsy, my first ever pattern I have bought on Etsy. I have bought them from Ravelry before, but never Etsy. And getting excited about doing that, even though we're not big on Halloween in Australia. And I went in my lunch hour today, what I call goodwill hunting. I went to the charity shop I favour that has yarn, donated secondhand yarn. They bag it nicely. It never smells bad. And today I was lucky. I found some great yarn. This is heirloom yarn, 50 gram balls, heirloom made in Australia. There are five, nearly six balls. Five of them have ball bands, one doesn't. I got it for $8 from the charity shop, St. Vincent de Paul. No, sorry, Lifeline. Lifeline run a, um, a call line for people who suffer depression and all sorts of issues. And their charity shop helps support that phone line, al along with other things that they do for the community. So yes, why am I excited about this yarn? Heirloom yarn is made in Australia. Can't remember if I said that. It is three weight or eight ply, and it is 60% wool, 30% bamboo, and 10% alpaca in a great color, and I have plans for this. So that was $8. And then at the same shop, I found this, which is, looks like someone's half a cake or cake left over. And Panda Magnum 3-ply in this one. This is 100 gram ball. This was $4. This is a great yarn and made in Australia. So yes, I bought that. And I also found a vintage doll clothes and teddy bear pattern that I really liked. Look at that. I've been getting the idea I might make a doll stress. But yeah, look at those vintage doll dresses. They're so cute. Now, my only tip to you is if you have a vintage pattern, please do not punch holes in it. One, you might actually damage some of the pattern wording inside. But two, it's no longer in mint condition. Mint condition vintage patterns on eBay can make you quite a bit of money. This one had punched holes in it. And it's no longer mint condition. So it's probably the dollar I worth the dollar I paid for it. But it's worth a lot more to me because I quite like it. And it's a Peyton's pattern book, which is Australian and uses Australian yarn. I got excited because it got me thinking about September. September last year I did a make along and I had earmarked in my schedule to do a make along this year in September. And I finally came up with what I want to do in September. So today I am claiming the hashtag secondhand September AU. That's my hashtag for my make along starting the 1st of September. Why AU? Well, last year in September I was in the UK in London and they do secondhand September. And I just wanted to make it so that I had my own hashtag, secondhand September AU for Australia. Now this make-along will be open worldwide 
and there will be a couple of prizes. And as we get closer to September, I'll tell you the details. But one of them is to support charity shops. And you can go and buy some yarn, good yarn, from a charity shop. All I ask is, when you, if you're going to join us, take a before photo showing that you had bought it from a charity shop, even if it's the receipt. It's not yarn from your stash or yarn you've gone out to a store, a big box store and bought cheap. Please buy from a charity shop because all over the world, charity shops are really struggling at the moment. Everyone's under pressure and we should support charity shops. And I've shown you, you can get some really good quality yarn. Oh, we're helping the planet. Now, as we get closer to September, there will be other things. It don't won't be just yarn. It will be, let's repurpose, recycle. I don't know. I'll work out the details another day. But guys, consider date claiming the 1st of September, all of September, and join my make-along secondhand September AU. Open worldwide, and there'll be a couple of prizes. So there you have it. I'm focusing on the good because the good can only get better in August. Thank you for watching. Until next time, make sure you take care of each other and have one crafty day. Bye for now.